He's coming. <laughs> Action. First, I want to congratulate you on definitively proving what we've suspected for some time, that animatronics are creepy as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they are. Agree. Even just seeing them behind you there is a little triggering, I've got to be honest. <laughs> Uh, and now let me let me start with you, Jason. Now, this movie went through some hoops, some ups and downs in the process of reaching the big screen. Why was it something that you always believed in? Well, I feel like thematically uh, it touches on everything we love, we love to do at Blumhouse. You know, there's nothing we, I like more than um, things that are creepy. So to your point, there's very few games that were creepier than Five Nights at Freddy's. It's real a real horror game, which there are not that many of. And also it had never been done as a movie or a show before. And so I was excited about the challenge of seeing if we could uh, make Scott comfortable enough to turn this into a, into a movie. Yeah, and from your perspective, Emma, what appealed to you about this project? You know, the, the animatronics that you, you're just joking about, the, they were so incredibly unique and captivating when I first got familiar with the game and the franchise, but they also evoke something really nostalgic and like so many memories for me as a kid that I, I just thought it was such an incredible world to walk into and, and felt personally connected and inspired to it. but. Beyond the animatronics, the haunted house of the pizzeria, the massive lore, and so many elements to pull from were all really enticing uh, to turn into a film adaptation. Yeah, Jason, last time we spoke, we discussed the, the lack of opportunities in horror in the horror genre for merchandising opportunities. Could we see a Freddy Fazbear Furby collab? <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. We... we uh... Scott uh, retains the merchandising rights on, rights on this, so that'll be up to him. And uh, usually if you come in later after something is already established, the merchandising rights stick with the person who created it. And there's, that's, 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 what it's, that's what it's like for this as well. <laughs> and Emma, tell me about Josh Hutchison as the, as the central character in this film and, and what he brought to the movie. You know, uh, it's such a wild world, FNAF, and Josh brought this really grounded approach to the character of Mike, who's bringing us through the pizzeria and then these five nights. He brought such a admiration for the franchise and the characters of the animatronics and, and the world, but also knew he was like, you know, forging new ground here with this character and, and was so dedicated to finding the truth in Mike and um, and making sure it was just a really awesome um, movie. Uh, so, you know, he's our conduit going through the whole story. So he knew he needed to land it and he really did. He's, he's awesome. There are ghost children possessing giant robots. <laughs> Thanks for the heads up. And tell me about the process of working with the Jim Henson creature shop and, and bringing these animatronics to life and what that was like on set. You know, the animatronics are like a whole other cast in our film. They really are. So we knew they needed the utmost amount of attention and no one is more equipped to have brought these creatures to life than Jim Henson's workshop. And we are so lucky to have them on board. Um, they are really masters at creating things that are both cuddly, weird, scary, and unique. And the animatronics needed to be all of those things. And they were super psyched to, to also be a part of the FNAF uh, world. So it, it was awesome. Yeah. Jim Henson's creations like Elmo, quite weird himself. Uh, and Jason, <laughs> uh, tell, what are the, what is the likelihood of this expanding to becoming a, like a, a Five Nights at Freddy's cinematic universe, just the way it has across other media? Um, well, that's our hope. I mean, it really depends on uh, if people agree with us that we made a movie that's uh, terrific, but if enough people see the movie, we hope to make a bunch more. Well, there's so many uh, FNAF fans out there, so I'm sure they will. Uh, Jason, Emma, it's been a pleasure to talk to you. Thanks so much for joining me today. Thank, Thank you. you.